What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday. Cause it's snap on Friday. So let's take a look and see what he's got. Come on. smelling good in here the little scent thing probably just went off <laughs> it smells good best 10 or 20 dollars you ever spend on the truck because some mechanics get to be stinking son <laughs> <laughs> bad their money ain't stinky though is it now <laughs> some of them though you're like you want me to run your car i got cash tank <laughs> no nah, i ain't never said that someone happens no. with cash hey no yeah Got cash? Heck yeah. Set it right here in my tub of towel real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I have to clean it, you know, because yeah, COVID. Yeah, yeah, Corona. Well, everybody, or not everybody, but I've had a request. Somebody wanting one of these handle pullers. Oh, yeah. And I know you've looked the number up before. Let me see if I can find that bad boy. I need to just take a marker and write it on the side of it. <laughs> That'd probably be a lot easier, wouldn't it? <laughs> and that way we don't have to go through it as often. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people must go through some handles. You get a lot of questions one. about them? Because I, I, I imagine it ain't too cheap. Especially the name brand it is. <laughs> You might just need to start stocking them on a the truck. Just keep them on here and mm -hmm. <clears throat> Let's see if we can find this bad boy. And if Snap-on won't let you sell outside your route, I, I can. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, why are you buying all these handle removers? Be like, man, I just I, collect I them. Like, I, collect I won't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> why you got one customer in about six of these? They like swapping out handles all the time, I guess. Just change his handles out. Him and his buddies that have races, so who's fast is changing <laughs> handles out. That's right. Uh, come on now, where's this thing at? So what's the difference between these? Like this one's got a white ring around it. And these don't. These are two speed and them aren't. Oh, it's high and low. Yep. See? And you're going high. Hmm. And I think you push out on this one. This one, you pull in on it. I don't know what the, why the difference is on that. Honestly, I kind of like the one that you push out better. Yeah. So if you're in a tight situation, Do it. you don't hit it. Because with this, I mean, I mean, you had to hit it just right, but... You could hit it. Yeah. But yeah, this is a two speed. I don't even have one. I do have one, but mine's the 7.2 volt version of that. I got But that's the only <laughs> one that I have with a clutch on it. The rest, you know, the other one's the CT761 style. Yep. The, you know, they uh, were the 7.2, I think it's called a 561. Yeah. And uh, I bought one of them. They did them, uh, I'm not sure why they brought them back. Or they had a special run on them. They may have found a couple extra boxes in the warehouse or something. But I bought one. It's actually in our house. My wife uses mm -hmm. it all the time. I think the battery been charged on it twice. And well, the one years. I got, you know, it'll run the fourteen four batteries or the. Yep. Now the one I got won't. It just uh, see. I've got a seven point two, the first version of with it. a triangle battery. Yep. And but my batteries are bad. But yep. the uh, the second one I bought runs the 14.4 or the yeah with the, the batteries is like only a stick from here up yeah it'll be thin one mm -hmm. yeah i've seen them before and uh my tow box i got the one like this i got the impact in one the quick change we were talking about last week yep. for speed so i didn't see no reason in spending the extra money on this one mm. and i just bought this one because most time on screws i mean yeah 
doing dash work, you ain't gonna use, need all that speed right there anyway. That clutch, though, I do need to probably look at a 14-4 one with a clutch on it so I won't be busting plastic and all that. Yeah. But I usually just, like, when it gets close, I let off it, you know. I don't just a lot of people don't on. do that, though. They I just keep hammer it on down. I've never busted anything with it, but I do pay attention. And with that, you know, I can set it on, like, two and just... Go and see what you need. You know, hammer it down with it. I would just put it on the drill myself and just, just be careful with it. Mm -hmm. I used, I actually used mine like that last night. I was working on my son's junior dragster, putting him some where you see through the, the one next to him over there. And use this on the little bitty Phillips head screws. Yeah. The little bitty suckers. But. Did you ever get that three eighths to a quarter inch adapter in? Was it the? Uh, I keep meaning to forget about it till I get ready to go do a job like I'm fixing to do tomorrow. And that's, you got it. Well, that's what I was looking for. It's perfect. Handy little dudes right there. Yep. Cause see, I keep my, you know, I keep a CT761 in every vehicle. Yep. Well, tomorrow. <laughs> Like, I'd rather have that in a jump pack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have a, you know, that's crazy too, because I've got a no-co jump pack in every single vehicle we own. Of course, we just added one to the fleet, so. Yeah, we got, what, 13 now? 14? <laughs> gonna, I need to buy another one, so I don't have to, because you never know. Can't have a, you never know. A number of vehicles. <laughs> uh-uh. You never know what may happen. But, um. I'm a fan of those NOCOs, but those CT761s, I like to keep quarter inch sockets in there too, you know? Yep. And I keep a 3 8 set up. <clears throat> I've been buying those GP Duo sockets, and that's what I yep. leave in almost every vehicle. And I just keep a regular set of wrenches in there too, but this new one, that's why I'm buying that adapter. So I'll have from an 8 millimeter all the way up, you know, I think it's like a 24 or whatever's yep. in that set. And the 3 8 that should do anything I need to do. Yeah, you're talking about the NOCO boxes. Just got three of these in. And we've got a 150 in also, but I sold it this morning yeah. already. Yeah, those GB70s are nice. Yeah, this is what, so I got the same thing in my Dodge. You know, I bought <clears throat> the GB70 first from you, remember? Yep. Because <clears throat> your truck, we went to look, eat lunch and you left your truck off we come back, the battery's dead. Left the door open, the light stayed on. So, you got that little thing out. And I said then, I said, if it'll jump this truck off of, I'm buying that damn thing. And it did, straight and out the did. box. Not so, charged up so I bought that exact one. Yeah, I tried to give him one out of a box. He's like, no, I want that, no, I want that, that one. That I one. know <laughs> that one works. That's the one I want. So, I bought that one. And then, uh, not long after that, Wally wanted one. And I upgraded to the GB150. And we jump started day team with with that one. Yep. Straight out the box. It was a, a pack car engine, yeah. Yep. So it cranked a big truck. I said, if it'll crank that big truck, I'll buy it. Yeah, because it, it, it was a good bit higher price. On so, so like I quit, I quit <laughs> betting against the NOCOs after that. So me and Shy had went to Memphis one day and uh, we was killing some time waiting on a doctor's appointment or whatever. And there was like this pawn shop. It was like, had a bunch of jewelry and stuff in there. We just had like 20 minutes we needed to kill. Well, I went in there and they had a GB20. And they had it on the shelf for $20. And I mashed I'd the button bang. and turned it on and it powered up and all that. I said, well, shoot, I'm gonna buy that joker for 20 bucks. Then I bought another GB40. And then, uh, but anyway, that's the, I, I've got no codes in everything we own. Yeah, I haven't never sold one of the 20s. I've seen them in the magazine. I sold some of the 40s mm -hmm. and, uh, but I, I try to keep the 70s because that's the all around. You can use it on about near anything yeah. that nine out of 10 people don't have, you could use a 70 on. Well, and, the uh, GB20 is little bitty, like yeah, I, it's tiny. I mean, it ain't even as big as this. You know, I mean, it's a little bitty fella. So we went to Walmart one day. Now I charged it, the one that I bought, and it was used at the pawn shop. I have no idea how old it is. Yeah. So we go to Walmart one day, and there was a guy there in one of the the Chevrolet work trucks, and his battery was dead. Of course, I don't keep jumper cables because I got booster no, boxes. Yeah. Well, it's supposed to crank up to a four liter, and I was like, man, I don't know if this thing's gonna jump this truck off because it was a you know 
4.3 liter, 4.6 liter, whatever it was. I think it was a 4.6. So um, I was like, we'll try it. And I put that joker on there and hit the button. We let the light start cycling. Me and the guy talked just a minute. And he said, I don't think that little thing will crank it. He mashed the clutch in, that bastard whirled off. He said, what is that? Like he took his phone out and took a picture of it. He said, I'm gonna order me one of them. <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, I said, they're good. I mean, we can get the snap on jump boxes, but you can ask Clay, I haven't had a snap on jump box on here in a long mm -hmm. time because I sell these. It's like the, uh, I consider the jump box like the vice grips. I'm just ain't gonna sell them. I got a better option yeah. for sure, you know? Well, you know, I've heard some people say them won't crank a, a diesel truck. They won't crank a diesel truck. Man, I hate to tell them, this Snap-on truck's got a 6-7 Cummins in it, and you pulled that that one out of the box that day, put it on there, and I don't know how much yeah. charge they come from the I factory. Think, I think 30 or 40 percent what they come. <laughs> but if she busted yeah. off. I mean, straight out the box. So. And the, uh, I've used them on this truck in almost five years, probably 10 times. Yeah. Once was two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I forgot to plug it up over the weekend, and of course with scanners and laptop and everything else, it drained all the batteries on it. And uh, I mean, it, I hit the key and it wouldn't dump, but just click, 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 click. Yeah. Put the jump box on it, like I said, let it circulate about 30 seconds and bust it right off. Well, they work. Damn good. Yeah. <laughs> so how, what's your price on the 70s? I, well, for a long time, they was like 270, but now they're lower than that. They, uh, you know, Amazon Prime, uh, I actually posted a picture last week where I jumped the Camaro off of that GB150. Yeah. And they said for Amazon Prime Day, they had the GB150s for uh, 200 bucks. There's like 209, I think that guy said. He bought one. I was that like, 150? Dang. Yeah. I dang. They're normally like 370 or something yeah. right there. But the GB70 is a number. good size. That GB40, I like it too. We got that in my wife's truck. Yeah, we sell the GB150s at 374, the GB70s at 249. And uh, I think I got these because I bought them in a, a deal we had. I think I got it for like 230, 225, yeah. 230. I actually got six of them. I only put three on the truck, and then I had that big money. Hey, you got buy them when you can get a good deal on them. Big money. Yeah, I know all about that Amazon Prime Day stuff. My wife, she'd be on there all the time. She bought something the other day just because it's on Prime. If I don't know that. I'd have ordered one of those GB one fifties. Yeah. Because I I don't know. I mean, I guess if you never plug them up, they'll they'll, I guess the they'll be like brand for, new. Yeah. You know? Especially everything you do around here, all these service trucks and everything junk. else, you'll never know when you might Just need it. Just call it what it is, junk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about everything you work on. <laughs> Just junk. Just junk. <laughs> Just junk. That's what it is. That's what Clay, y'all, let me tell y'all a story about Clay. He's talking about junk. When he fills the vehicle's junk, they just park it around back up under. I was vehicle stay inside, too, except for the Ford. This poor thing stays outside. But the rest of them get parked up under the shed and they just go buy a brand new one. No, we ain't worried about it. Need tires, just park it. We'll go get another one. That ain't true. You know better than <laughs> <laughs> You know Bunnies. better than that. So I, I don't drive nothing but junk and you know that's right. <laughs> Most people would, that, they'd throw away the vehicles that I drive every day. <laughs> Somebody's like, dang, that, my car missing and everything. Shoot, I can drive to work in that. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't gonna be firing on all four cylinders. That's right. You don't need but two. Yeah. That's good enough. <laughs> Nowadays, all these new vehicles want to shut down, shut cylinders off and stuff anyway down there. I see it. I'm just eco friendly <laughs> before it was cold. Start, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, man, once you put a coal pack on that, I ain't, got, I ain't messing with that. Fuel you ever kind. notice that, though? Everybody yep. that works on vehicles, they work on everybody else's crap, but, not but they don't own, do their man. own. Like, they'll, until it <laughs> will not start. And will not go or will not stop. That's, that's what, when you fix it. That's what they always say. I always heard like uh, mechanics' cars don't never run. Body shop guys' cars dented up or primed and yeah. never painted. <laughs> Roofers' houses leak. I mean, <laughs> that's the way it is. You do it man. all day. You don't want to go home and do the same thing. Yeah, like our envoy. I need to put a blend door in it. 
and uh, the driver side blend door is only on heat now. Oh, so I just turned the vents off and turned the passenger side vents towards me. And the park's like 37 bucks, but it's just a pain in the butt to tear all that crap out to get to it. But I'll do it one day, but it's gonna be when I get ready to do it. <laughs> I'll do it. They'll be parked up under shed here in a couple of weeks. Wife be driving a new car or something. Don't have to worry about it. <laughs> man, What's wrong with that? The blend door expert has gone out of it. You're going to have everybody for believing that mess. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll the window down. I'd rather be stuck on heat, you know? Yeah. Just roll the window down. Be all right. There's something wrong with this one. The, uh, I've got to sit on the defroster and floor. But it blows everything out the vents. If you hit a bump, then it'll swap over to defrost on the floor. You gotta hit the right bump. Yeah. But then you hit another one, they go back to the vents. But every time you stop putting in park, you hear it over clicking like it's trying to swap over. <laughs> it's just saying if you're paying attention to yeah. what it is. Now, somebody asked me about this, so won't you fix this? I ain't worried about it. Yeah. I mean, it don't matter. That These trucks, how much money have you spent on air conditioning work on this truck since you've owned it? We in the tens of thousands, it's got to be. <laughs> like the rear air is never a problem. No, the front air don't the front even air work now. The front air is junk. No, somebody's like, why you got that on the heat? I said, because the cold side blows out hot. So you turn over there if you want to, it's still blow out hot. <laughs> they don't blow out cold up front. Mm -mm. Just sweating. I, I kicked my floor vent open over there. So. Well, you ain't the only one. The Universe truck, same yeah, trucks. Yeah, they're all, you know, yeah. and they're always fussing. I'm like, dude, you can spend all the money you want to spend on these yeah. trucks. And Clay has replaced every part on this thing from one end to the other. And we only found one thing that was a problem, but everything's been replaced on it. Junk. Junk. Yep, that's mm -hmm. like the universe guys are like, oh, I want you to fix it, okay? So you fix it, and like three, four weeks later they come out. I don't know what's wrong with this truck. It's not blowing cold again. And I don't look, know what it, And yeah. something else has done happen. And I'm like, man, you're gonna have to just replace it all at one time, I guess, because it's, that's what it's we, the only way to fix it. Well, that's what we did with this one. Replace the part here, part there, part yeah. here. And they're like, screw it, let's just replace everything. Yeah. And like a couple of weeks later, I mean, you blow out good and cold. You know how big of a pain that evaporator was to change. Well, yeah. I had the same thing happen with one of their trucks. And I actually left that thing over vacuum all night long no leaks like I, I pulled a vacuum on it for like an hour and a half two hours that day it was a long time and then i cut my stuff off i said let me see if it leaks i even took a sharpie and put a dot on the glass where i could see the vacuum make to sure. make sure yeah come in here the next day no leaks we charged it up three weeks later it comes back a line had rubbed and yep. it was something we didn't even touch but no, on like, that, this is ridiculous. Even on this one, the lines on the front, we've done swapped them out a couple times. Mm -hmm. And they, we got them zip tied to the radiator and everything now. And they still, I don't know how zip tied, and it can still get up and touch the grill. I don't know. Yep. That somebody ever asked, like, when you fix it? I ain't, I ain't worried about it. <laughs> how to kick the vent open and sweat it out, I guess, up here. <laughs> get you a fan and have it blowing. Well, now, when it got really hot, I, yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, when it gets that bad hot, then yeah, I get the fan and put back here and blow it towards the front. <laughs> we got them little bitty ones up here, but yeah, that sucker is loud and it don't move no air. Yeah, you had that that big one in the floor that time, and then yeah. I think I ended up buying it. Yeah, that orange one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, because y'all walked on here and it, it was, was that hot little bitty one, hell, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, and I was like, man, that fan feels good. And I was like, how much you red thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's bad when you sell the fellow sell. It's only AC he got. Hey, I've loaned you my fan it still all ain't got summer. It <laughs> and I've, been, I've been sweating in the shop all summer because I loaned you my fan. <laughs> he told me, he said, I'll have to go get you a new one. I was like, hey, just keep that one. It don't matter. <laughs> I done learned just tough it out. You're making me tougher is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, so I'm helping you out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That sounds like my wife and daughter right there. That's what I said. If y'all quit spending money, we wouldn't have to work so hard. Like, we're helping you out, you know, keeping you alive, up and going. So like, yeah. I'd rather just die, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you get fat sitting on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I guess I need to get one of them jump boxes since I'm one short on all my vehicles. Like 70? <laughs> or are you on 150? That 70 would be big enough. Yeah. It does a 6 0 gas, don't it? The 70s. 6 0 diesel. Oh, yeah, 6 0 diesel mm -hmm. now. 
Mm-hmm. We can open it up and see exactly what they say on it. You got these little monkeys on sale this week? Always. Which one you want? The cheap? Well, I don't know about that because that low speed could be handy at times. I was going to say the cheapest one. Once you trade somebody out of one, right buy a used one. Eight liter gas, six liter diesel. Oh, yeah, that'd be plenty. That'd be plenty. You can take the battery off your new car, just use a jump box on that. That's it. Don't even need a battery. I don't know how well it'd work, but. Probably not very good on all this new stuff nowadays. <laughs> no. Most time you hook a battery, they go dead. Yep. Yeah, you need to trade somebody out on one of them. Somebody needs to upgrade where you can sell me their used one cheaper. All that money you got, you were about to use. So I don't know where all this money you talking about. Monopoly. <laughs> got stacks of that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know where all this money is. If you, <laughs> I tell you what you do. If you find them big old stacks, man, you just split it. <laughs> if I had half of what you thought I did, I'd be doing good. That's what uh. Who did I tell that to this morning? Yeah. So if I had half the money that everybody thought I did, I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> There's easier ways to live. I ain't got a, I ain't got money. I got credits. That's what matters. I took off Tuesday. My son was running in state championship for cross country, and halfway down there, my banker called me, told me you can't go watch him put run. You got to come back, and go back to work. So. <laughs> you got bills to do Friday. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You go to hell for lying, just like you do for stealing. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, I guess we're gonna turn this thing off. Hamilton's gonna rob me again. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> like always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, kotos and discount codes. Did you ever find that part number for that? No, I didn't. I might look it up on my phone. Okay. We get it and put it on the video. We'll put it on the video. Anyway, thumbs up merchandise kotos discount codes and let me show you a trick if you're not subscribed it's this simple you take your finger it don't matter if you use your left finger or your right finger either one and you click that button right there just <laughs> press it and it's done voila all right guys y'all have a great week and we will catch you next time see ya